Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another to another video. It's me again, Bullets and Tell. I don't know why I'm wearing this. Actually, no, I do know why I'm wearing this jacket. Yes, it's very big. It's a size XL. I I like wearing this jacket because I bought it. It was ten dollars. Um, it's comfy. It's warm. And it, it makes me feel happy when I wear it because it's not, it's comforting for some reason. I don't know why. Also, it's quite squeaky, so sorry about that. Anyways, um, I, you might, if you're a viewer of my channel, you may have remembered that in one of my previous videos, I was talking about how I wanted to start collecting cute antique trinkets, um, but I was kind of apprehensive about that, about that, about that, because it's quite hard to find antique things, you know, because the whole premise of antique things, it's, it's, it's quite strict, because it has to be over a hundred years old, and there are just, there are so, there are only a few, well not a few, there's probably a lot of antique things, but antique things, that not, no more of them are being made. Well, you have to wait, like, a really long time. Say, like, like, in, like, a hundred years, this Nintendo Switch could be considered anti- Hey, look, you can see the screen on my reflection. That's cool. Anyways, um, so it takes a while for things to become antique. So I figured that that was going to be too hard and way too expensive because they're all, they're probably going to be expensive. Um, so instead I thought, oh, well, vintage would do. And I actually, I actually found quite a lot of vintage things because vintage things have to be like 20 years or 25 years, 20, 25, right, I think, or was it 50? It was some number to 100, less than 100, but it's, it's over 20, I know that. Over 20 years, 20 to 100 years, I think. And I found some stuff. I was showing you guys some other things, but I found this thing. Um, you see, my grandma, when she passed last year, I got a bunch of her cool sewing stuff, and this was one of the things, and I googled this thing, and I'm pretty sure it, it said it was from the, um, uh, the site that I, I, I saw, was, it said it was from, like, the 40s, like, the 50s, or so, actually, no, I, th I think that it said 40s, but I'm not too sure about that, I'm kind of skeptical, I don't know why, but yes, these, um, newies, world famed, hooks and eyes. They're great. They're, like, the things that they can, like, clasp things. That's cool. Um, also, another thing that I got from my dad sewing stuff. This is actually one of my favorite sewing patterns. I don't know how I forgot about this, but it's Butterick 4795. I've made multiple dresses using this pattern because if you know me, you know that I do a lot of sewing. Um... at that. Three dollars. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was from the 1980s sometime during there. Yes, it does have a nice, it has a lovely tear down the side, but that's alright. And I, it always, so, sewing patterns, when you're putting them back, it, it's always, it's quite hard. But I always, I always do try my best to fold the sewing patterns nicely. Especially knowing that this stuff is vintage, I do try my best to take the greatest care of it. Of course, it's, this was made, like, what, almost 40 years, like, well over 40 years ago, probably. So, of course, we're in tear. I always do try to keep things, what's that word again? Undamaged. Unscathed. I forgot the actual word. There's a word for it. What's it called? No, not unscathed. Um, I don't remember that word. But it's when something isn't damaged. Or I should just say that. There's a word for it. I know, I know. Um, another thing that I found. New Zealand coin. It just says New Zealand... 3rd, 1952. Damn, that was a long time ago. That was actually 72 years ago. This thing is 72 years old. And then on the back it says King George the Sixth. 
That's cool. Not sure where I found that. Um, I also, I have two other coins as well, I think. Uh, New Zealand five cent coin. We don't have five cent coins anymore. And this was from 1986, it says down the bottom. If you can see that. And then it says Queen Elizabeth II. Cool. And there was one last coin. Uh, this thing. Look. It's... When I saw it, I saw this side. And I was just like, oh, it says one cent. Whoa, New Zealand doesn't have one cent coins. This is amazing. But then I read the top and it, it, it just says... United States of America. So this is American money. Mm. And on the back it says 1975. In God we trust. Does that say liberty? I don't know. That's that side. Anyways, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Also, honorable mention, I mentioned this in the last one. This earring, it's really cool. I like this earring. Um... And in my trinket box, it goes with the other random jewelries. When once I've finished and like, once I've fully made the jewelry box filled to the room with cute little antique trinkets, um, I can post a picture online and post it on Pinterest and Tumblr and wherever, and I then people will think that it's really cool. I think. Um. I have a weights club again tomorrow. That'll be fun. I'm gonna wear my new pants. Uh, what else? I was gonna say a thing, wasn't I? Oh yeah. Um. Actually, never mind. I don't actually remember it. Uh. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all my updates. Uh, bye, bye.